Yeah, very colorful this morning, the Punch newspaper. Above the masthead of the Punch, we have uh, some stories there. Forex, federal government blames low export earnings and plans diversification. Also, banks' USSD debt to telecos hits 200 billion naira. And Senate uh, summons service chiefs and demands security rejig. Below the masthead of the Punch, be patient and... Inherited crisis won't disappear overnight, says Ribadu. The riders under that, NSC appeals to Nigerians and says Tinubu inherited poor economy and insecurity. Exposed deficit inherited from Buhari, be transparent, will be challenges federal government. Also, we see some pictures there with the, pre the president and then... Um, I think the president went for an occasion there. Guinea Bissau at 50, Tinubu pledges support for West Africa's democracy. Then at the foot of the page, there we see stories saying PSC and NPF consider 65 years as police retirement age. Then, 80 year old woman dies in Lagos building collapse. Quite unfortunate there. And then, Oshun Assembly suspends Chief George and a delicate appoints replacement. And these are the stories on the punch this morning. Okay, um, wonderful stories. Now we're going to the Vanguard newspaper where right above the masthead we have capital importation to manufacturing sector rises 88.2% to 861 million dollars and that's on page 19. Beneath that, we have FJSC OK's 22 justices for elevation to Supreme Court by CJN Ariwola. We have beside that, editors confab fireworks as stakeholders interrogate national security, threats to elections, media reforms. Also, we have appeal courts declare Zamfara governorship election inconclusive, and that is on page 13. Beneath the masthead in bold, we have why kidnapping has replaced armed robbery, and that is by the NSA. We have underneath Senate summons NSA service chiefs over security, reps, fume, turn back service chiefs, IGP representatives over debates on security challenges. Bandits abduct Kaduna district head as soldiers ambush arms supplier. We have gunmen kill abducted priest after collecting one million naira ransom in Kogi. NMA threatens strike over kidnap of 10 doctors in Enugu. Wow, lots of security issues there. We can see that on page five. Obviously, that's a lot to be upset by. Underneath that, we have images at the NDDC govern uh, an image uh, captioned NDDC Governing Board Inauguration. Under the picture, we have MTEF. FSP, we can't continue borrowing to fund Nigeria's budget, Valley Edu, and that is on page 8. Under that, looted funds, we've seized 45 billion naira, identified ter terrorist financiers, that is by the federal government on page 9. Under that, we have CSOs to Tinumbu, cancel recent civil service promotion examination, that is the, on page 12. Beside that, we have Away Lakemfa, on page 17, Cameron's, re Cameron's return to international politics may be good for the conservative British establishment, but not so for humanity. And on sports, on page 38, we have World Cup qualifiers, sloppy super eagles survive ramp rampaging Lesotho in Uyo. And that is all on the front page of the Vanguard newspaper this morning. All right. Um, from the Vanguard, we move on to the Nigerian Tribune. Several stories in the Nigerian Tribune this morning. Above the masthead of the Nigerian Tribune, we see why we are against borrowing, <coughs> borrowing to finance 2024 budget, says Finance Minister. And Southeast and North Central get three new Supreme Court justices each. Below the masthead below that says, as FJSC nominates ex-CJN's son and 21 others for elevation. That's on page 10. Below the mass side of the Nigerian Tribune, um, Splinter Group emerges in Edo PDP. And we also see insecurity, reps turn back representatives and insist service chiefs must appear. And Oshun Governor suspends CJ and appoints Afolabi to act. 
We also see governorship election anxiety in Kano plateau as court orders rerun in Zamfara and three, three local governments affected. We see uh, <coughs> some more stories there on the side. Okay. Mm. I think we took some of those stories in the punch, so I'll move on. Insecurity, we inherited tough period, says Ribadu to editors conference. And we see a picture there where Sultan comments Makinde on new Adoba Central Mosque built by Oyo Governor. Now, these are the stories on the Nigerian um, Tribune this morning okay all right now we're moving straight up to the daily independence where on the front page of this colorful newspaper we have right above the masthead appeal court declares zamfara guba elections inconclusive mm -hmm. says as pdp calls for disbandment of plateau election appeal panel over alleged inducement Beside that, we have Oweri abduction, Senate summoned security chiefs over kidnap of Major General Duru. Says we'll enact laws to address root causes of insecurity. The big story there on the front page, Saudi Arabia draws flak for cancelling 177 Nigerians, Nigerians' visas on arrival. Air Peace clarifies its position. By the side of the big picture, we have bankruptcy claim Obi challenges FG to declare state of inherited coffers, page 7. Under that, we have Undo cabinet members pass votes of confidence in Akiridolu on page 6. And on, still on page 6, we have Supreme Court bench justices Samani, Ada, 20 others make FJSC recommendation list. Still on page six, we have we'll use Emo as launch pad to grab Southeast, and that is by Ganduje. On page eight, we have police smash death threat syndicates arrest suspects in Anambra State. Right beside that, we have MTEF slash FSP finance minister insists on end to borrowing. Says Nigeria can't rely on borrowing to fund 2023 budgets. Concerns mount in Senate over MDA's poor revenue projections and leakages. Right at the bottom of the page, we have FG set to boost education with digital blackboard technology. And that is a story you can find on page 29. That is it on the front page of the Daily Independent. All right. We've um, read from about four papers already mm. this morning. And now, um, Nigerians, you can call in and make your contribution and any of the